everyone i am kavita assistant professor from department of physics in ksr college of arts and science for women tiruchengur now we are going to discuss about the topic is mechanics mechanics is the branch of physical science that deals with the force and their effect on object let us see the branches of physics it deals with the behavior and matter energy at the atomic subatomic scale is the quantum mechanics Elastic mechanics is deal with the object moving with the velocity comparable to the velocity of light. Newtonian mechanics it deals with the effect of energy and the forces of everyday object. Let us see the projectile. Projectile motion is the motion of an object thrown into the air after the initial force that launches the body. It only the experience of the force of gravity. The object is called projectile and the path is called trajectory. baseball stones bullet are some example range the horizontal distance traveled by the projectile is called range horizontal or horizontal projectile time of flight time of flight is the measurement of time taken by the object particle or wave to travel the distance from the medium impact impact understand and analyze the mechanics of impact analyze the motion of body undergoing a collision in a both central and oblique cases of impact impact occurs here when two body colliding during a very short time period causing a large impulsive force to be exerted between the bodies common example of impact are hammer striking a nail or bat striking a ball impact used for in mechanics an impact of high force or shock applied over a short time period when two or more bodies collide such force or acceleration usually has a greater effect than a lower force applied over a proportionally longer period for example the force or action on one object hitting another the impact of crash reduce the car to the third of its original length the bullet explode on impact when it hit the another object center of gravity the center of gravity is a point in an object where the distribution of weight is equal in all direction and is thus depend on the gravitational field however the an object center of mass and center of gravity lies at the same point in a uniform gravitational field center of gravity of a solid cone the center of mass of the solid cone will be lie on the altitude at a distance of h divided by 4 distance from the center of the base of the cone center of gravity of hollow hemisphere center of the mass of the body is the single point at which the entire mass of the body is imaged to be concentrated and all the forces applied act at the point the center of mass is that point that moves when any external forces are applied to the body center of buoyancy center of buoyancy the center of gravity of the volume displays the fluid when an object immersed in the fluid is called the center of buoyancy it means it is the center centroid of the immersed part of the ship or other floating body the resultant of the buoyancy forces on a submerged body acted through this point it collides in cone inside with the entire the gravity of the displacement liquid if the body is completely immersed for the floating body with it is the part of submerged in the liquid the center of buoyancy buoyancy is at the center of gravity of the submerged part of the body and it lies the vertically below the center of gravity of the entire body thank you